late 2011, catastrophic flash flood washi struck the Philippines, causing at least 1,268 fatalities. It brought 10 hours of torrential rains that triggered disastrous flash floods over Mindanao, an area that rarely experiences tropical cyclones. Damage was estimated at 2.068 billion, which over half of the damage was due to damaged roads and bridges. But how did this start? Now, let's get to know what really is Bagyong Sindong. What is a tropical storm? A severe storm that develops offshore over tropical seas with less than hurricane force winds but the ability to develop into a hurricane. Washi means Akila in Japanese. Actually, tropical storm Washi has two names. P first name is the Philippine name, the storm Sendo, and Washi official name of storm in the Western Pacific. Severe tropical storm Washi, known in the Philippines as tropical storm Sendo, was late season tropical cyclone that caused catastrophic damage in the Philippines in late 2011. Track of tropical storm Sindong. Tropical storm between December 16 to 17, 2011, tropical storm Sindong made landfall and crossed northern Mindanao. Cagayan de Oro City was hit directly by the storm. With the eye of Sindong passing of approximately 12 noon on December 16, about 180 mm of rainfall was recorded in the Pagasa, Lumbia Station, according to Pagasa. Washi formed on December 13, 2011, as tropical depression. Washi forms in the North Pacific Ocean and strengthened into a strong tropical storm with maximum sustained winds around 65 miles per hour. Washi intensified prior to making landfall in the Philippines on December 15, 2011. Heavy rain increased in the system and Washi broke torrential rains and mudslides to the Philippines. How extreme were the wind and rainfall associated with Sendong? Sendong was a weak tropical cyclone with 1 minute average maximum wind speed of 100 km per hour according to the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. With this speed, Sendong was a tropical storm according to the Sutter Simpson Tropical Cyclone category. According to wind-based typhoon warnings, Sendong was a weak storm. But, similar to tropical storms on Doi and Peping, the rainfall amount associated with Sandong was extreme and resulted in severe flooding. Data from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center show that most of Thai tropical cyclones that make landfall in the Philippines pass through Luzon and Visayas. Number of typhoons that make landfall in Mindanao from 1945 and 2010. DRFM provided a top down a rainfall analysis of tropical storm Washi on December 15. Light to moderate rainfall was falling throughout the storm. A rate between 20 to 40 millimeters per hour. There were more areas of heavy rainfall around the center of the storm than on the previous day. After passing Mindanao, Washi weekend due to land interruption, but the storm quickly regained its strength in the Sulu Sea. Late on December 17, Washi crossed Palawan and arrived in the South China Sea, and the system moved on the power on December 18. Washi weekend to a tropical depression and dissipated on December 19 because of cool, dry air in association with the Northeast monsoon. Signal number one, a tropical cyclone will affect the locality. Winds of 30 to 60 km may be expected in at least 36 hours or in intermittent rains may be expected within 36 hours. Impact of the winds in signal number one. Twigs and branches with small trees may be broken. Some banana plants will be tilted or down. The waves of the coastal waters may be gradually developed. Disaster preparedness is activated to alert systems. Signal number two, a tropical cyclone will affect the locality. Winds of greater than 60 km per hour and up to 100% km per hour may be expected at least 24 hours. Signal number 3. 
a tropical cyclone will affect the locality. Winds greater than up to 100 km per hour, up to 185 km per hour, and may be affected within 18 hours. The impact of the winds, many coconut trees may be broken or destroyed. Rice and corn crops may suffer heavy losses. Signal number four. A very intense typhoon will affect the locality. Very strong winds of more than 185 km per hour may be expected at least 12 hours. Impact of the winds. Coconut plantation may suffer for extensive damage. The overall damage to affected communities can be a very heavy. At least 11 areas were placed under storm signal number 2, while 17 more were placed under storm signal number 1 as Tropical Storm Syndrome, international code name Washi, maintained its strength towards the night. In its 11 p.m. advisory, the Pag-asa said Sindong was estimated at 430 km east-southeast of Hinatuan, Surigao del Sur as of 10 p.m. Pag-asa said, Sundong Pak, maximum sustained winds of 65 km per hour near the center and gustiness of up to 80 km per hour and is forecast to move west-northwest at 30 km per hour. Sendong is expected to be at 100 km east-southeast of the Maguete City by Friday evening and 100 km east-northeast of Puerto Princesa City by Saturday evening. By Sunday evening, it is expected to be at 390 km west-northwest of Puerto Princesa City. Areas under storm signal number 2 include Eastern Summer, Western Summer, Leyte Provinces, Camotes Island, Bohol, Surigao del Norte, Shargao Island, Surigao del Sur, Dinagat Province, Agusan Provinces, and Misamis Oriental. Areas under storm signal number one include Sorsogon, Tikau Island, Masbati, Northern Samar, Deliran Island, Panay Island, Guimaras, Negros Provinces, Cebu, Sikihar Island, Davao Oriental, Davao del Norte, Samal Island, Bukidnon, Lano Provinces, Misamis Occidental, and Zamboanga Provinces. Can we prevent disasters? We cannot stop natural phenomena from happening, but we can make them less damaging if we understand better why they happened and what we can do to prevent or mitigate them. As the saying goes, prevention is better than cure. The following are the ways to prevent and avoid this kind of disasters. Number 1. Planting Trees Why do we need to plant trees? Trees help reduce surface water runoff from storms. These trees decrease soil erosion by holding the soil together. They also absorb and deflect falling rain. Number 2. Throw your garbage properly. Don't throw your garbage anywhere because this simple negligence may lead to clogging of peaks and canals during heavy rains. Number 3. Be informed. Know how you'll be notified of a disaster. It's important to know how you will be notified of an emergency in your area. For example, emergency radio or TV broadcast, sirens, phone calls, and message on your mobile device. Number 4. Don't be scared. Be prepared. Prepare an emergency supply kit. An emergency kit should be prepared and stored in a designated place known to all family members. Basic supplies should include a 3-day supply of food and water for each family member, flashlight with extra batteries, and last but not the least, first aid kit. And number 5. Evacuation is one of the most common ways to mitigate suffering to humans during typhoon disaster. It is important to be alert and listen to authorities' advice to vacate the dangerous area as early as possible to avoid further catastrophic damage. Nature is always moving and changing. 
This happens in different ways. For instance, through natural phenomena that occur quite regularly, such as rains, winds, earth tremors, or natural processes of soil erosion. These natural phenomena affect almost the entire earth. However, such phenomena still turn into disasters, affecting lots of people in every corner of our planet, where a culture of prevention has not yet taken root. Tropical storm Sindong reached peak intensity as it made landfall in northern Mindanao on December 16, 2011. As measured by wind velocity, it was a weak storm, but it deposited an extreme amount of rainfall, causing severe flooding, particularly in the cities of Cagayan de Oro and Iligan. Sindong caused more than 1,500 deaths and 6,071 injuries, damaged 51,144 homes, and displaced an estimated 430,900 people, with the majority of the impacts concentrated in and around the two cities. The intense rainfall in Cagayan de Oro River Basin was channeled into a gorge, producing a strong current that uprooted trees and eroded river banks. It was indeed a tragic and a sad event to the people. Since people are partly responsible for disasters happening, we have to change what we are doing wrong in order to avoid and reduce the impact of natural phenomena. Every community must get to know its own features and surroundings, the natural environment, as well as the environment built by the human beings. We human beings are a part of nature, and our quality of life depends on the living things that share this planet with us. We must take care of our nature, because our well-being depends